And that's really the end of the uh, extraction process. And we're going to start with the amplification process. And the most important step there right now is to mix a blend of the fungal primers, ITS-1 and ITS-4, as well as master mix and distilled water. And we are aiming for 27 microliters per sample. And the reason for that is that my lab would like 10 microliters for a forward read, 10 microliters for a reverse read, and then we're going to need an extra seven uh, for the gel electrophoresis. So that's how I get to that number. And obviously, if it's 27 per sample, you have to multiply that by eight to get to the final number of uh, mix that you're going to need. Um, so I'm going to put that together. I'm going to measure out um, um, about, um, uh, about 120 microliters of um, uh, the PCR master mix. I'm going to measure out about five microliters of uh, the forward primer, five microliters of the reverse primer, and then about a uh, hundred or so microliters of the distilled water. And I'm going to mix them all together in this tube. That's the important step. So I'm going to take, uh, take uh, a little bit from all of these and then put them all into this tube where they're going to get mixed together. And once you have all that in your tube, you're going to flick, flick it a little bit so it all gets mixed together. And then you're going to uh, portion that mix that you got in your tube into the eight uh, new tubes that you've labeled earlier that are still empty. These are not the tubes that are in the uh, centrifuge right now. These are entirely new empty tubes that you've kept closed. So you're going to portion the mix that you had in equal parts into these tubes. And that's about 20 microliters per tube. So I'm going to take the pipette tip, do the usual, put it in there, and then distribute it into um, each of the tubes. You don't have to change uh, pipette tip between uh, them because it's really just one liquid that you're distributing, so there's no risk of con contamination. So we're going to do that. And, okay, here you go. And then you can get rid of that pipette tip. You're then going to take um, all your um, uh, tubes from the centrifuge, where hopefully the debris from the, mush from the cell walls and the mushroom will have settled at the bottom, and the DNA, uh, I mean, this, the, the clearer stuff will have risen to the top. You're going to put them in the right order. You're going to put them in here. And then after you've done that, you're going to take one microliter, one tiny little amount from each of... Um, of the mushroom samples here in the front, you're going to take one microliter and put it in um, the new tubes in the back that have the master mix fungal primer in them. And you're going to have to use a new pipette tip for every transaction because obviously there is, there, there's fungal DNA in here and you, you don't want to mix it up between the different samples. So these samples are now ready uh, for PCR, polymerase chain reaction. So we're going to pop them into our thermocycler, making sure that the lids are tightly closed because they're going to sit in here for the next three hours. Okay, we're going to close it. And then um, we're going to go to, to the library here. Um, this is my interface. And I've got the standard protocol here. And I'm just going to run that uh, protocol. And uh, this uh, shows you what's part of the protocol. There's going to be an initial denaturation where they are uh, going to try and split um, the DNA. Um, then the denaturation. Um, and then the annealing where the primers bind to, to the ends of these sort of un, uncoupled strands of DNA. And then extension is when um, they get amplified, i.e. you double them 
Every, every cycle, there's 35 cycles, um, the number of DNA gets doubled. Um, so you're gonna end up with billions and billions of DNA that we can then send off to the lab. So we're nearing the end of the PCR process, and as you can see there in the corner, we've created 34 billion copies of the DNA that we initially went in there. So that's quite a lot. That's enough for um, the lab to get us a sequence. And we're done with the polymerase chain reaction. So we can pop the lid. And... Uh, these are now ready for gel electrophoresis.